I'm going to turn early, <clears throat> making an easy one for me. Good, good. My, my dad's off running. He couldn't, uh, couldn't make it. Uh, he got space there. Yeah, they're running from the running club, but <laughs> other end of the river, down by Perth Water. Still a great turnout tonight.
At least someone has to take a shortcut, don't they? No matter what you're doing, Ducey, you're always in someone's way. Yeah. You know what? It's more than a watch. Five minutes off my way to time watching more crap from you. Are you talking...
Are you talking about drone videos? My friend said you made drone. me watch you yeah. made me watch five minutes of drone videos and I didn't see you crash once. That's what he said. I'm a friend here around uh, Amy. <laughs> There's one. There's one Emu's uh, video worth watching. That, the one. The one you're not there. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm still surprised there's enough room there to take a boat because the water pushes you the right direction, but it's only about yay wide. <laughs> but uh, but, 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 but that's it. There's not enough water, but it, it, it is. It is if you hit that gap right, you know. <laughs> So you're like, look, and you're like, hang on, I'm going to land on rocks. Oh, no, wait, but if I turn, I'll land in that little bit of water. I didn't hear. <laughs> Paddling-wise? Yeah. Mate, I've paddled twice. So I've paddled Australia Day and once before that since uh, September. <laughs> I usually give it off and now I start again. See, I'll be, I'll be there, but... I got I got two jobs now. I'm working at a simulator, a racing simulator place in Northbridge, with like uh, racing little pods, cars, and similar but like proper simulator, you know, at a at a bar. It's it's a it's a bar, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you got that cheat boat, do you? <laughs> How you going? <laughs> This is what I, this is what Kanoom up taught me. Five years of camping at Kanoom up on Murray River. All I learnt was how to do a real big raft with all the boats. A good skill to have, of course. Yeah, that's the one. Exactly, exactly. Grab onto each other's paddles. <laughs> pull in, pull in. Yeah, easy to hold on to. Fun. <laughs> That's it, mate. Yeah, well, That's it. Let's grab onto my boat. It's not going to capsize. I've got 12% of proof it won't capsize. <laughs> in a bit, I guess, and go down there. Um, oh yeah, paddles! <laughs> grab, I'm gonna grab yours back again. Do you want to grab your paddle for a minute? Like, uh, Squidging down here. Thank you, man. <laughs>
Changer, I think. <laughs> we'll see. How's your dad going? Great, great, yeah. yeah. He's uh, running club tonight. <laughs> yeah, Wednesdays, that's right. Yeah, today. We're going up to the bush soon and then up over to Papua New Guinea. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. trips. And so, um, the, the race plan, the, the marathon training is uh, yeah. in, in and out sort of thing. So, <laughs> I take every opportunity, but uh, this is the, I mean, the second time I've been in this boat this year. So, yeah, well, yeah. since September. So. <laughs> Did you do the album? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did, I did quite well, but that was only because it came up. Yeah. You know, quite I was loading the, I had the boat on board. I, I saw you on the, um, thing on the Friday. I had it on board, and then the mother-in-law got raced up to hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She passed That's away in the end of, you know, you know, 30 days or so later. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Not nice. Oh, you'll be you'll be doing it again this year, then? Oh yeah. Oh, excellent. Oh, we'll have to this train. Is Su this is Sue's boat. I bought oh, this really? to do the Avalon in. Wow. I bought it in July off. It's oh, amazing. I finally it's... talked her into letting it yeah. go. Because I, I, I don't know Sue that well, but the one time that I talked to her, Baden Powell, Nanga Challenge. Yes, yes, last yes, year, yes, yes. I had this. She had her boat. That's this one. Oh, no, no, she had her, oh, her DR, DR boat. boat. Yeah. Oh, oh well, Daryl's boat. Yeah, yeah. And I said, what uh, should I upgrade to? Uh, plastic boats. I'm looking for a fast plastic single. And she said, don't bother. Get one of these. Yeah. And I said, oh, but I'd like to stay plastic because it's cheap and indestructible and yeah, I don't yeah, mind it yeah, being heavy yeah. and all that. Yeah. She says, oh, don't bother. Just go for one of these. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell from that moment on that she was uh, set on the, the composite, yes. so I can see yeah. why she sold this. Yeah. Um, but then I took Daryl was right there, and he said, "Oh, Wave Hopper's got some credit." And he told me the story about how the Wave Hopper was designed. Uh, uh, yeah, that's um, right. The, they, the they, uh, Hungarian yeah. bloke uh, yeah. was racing in K1, yeah. and then Neil went over there and, took, and was at his house. And yeah. he looked at the K1 and said, "You know what? We should build a plastic one of these." And the Hungarian guy said, "Sure, I'll put my name to it yeah. so that it sells well and a uh, oh, uh, big uh, international yeah. competitor." And it's all known as done by the Hungarian bloke, yeah. not yeah. Neil. No, no, Neil's no. idea. Yeah. And and the factory uh, Daryl took Daryl uh, was taking to the factory. And he was shown this thing. Which I wanted to know um, why they didn't make it just a little bit longer, <laughs> or or narrower, or wider, or, or, yeah. or, or narrower. Yeah, down here. Yeah. Yeah. So you know a whole pile of different things. Yeah. That could have done better, but it's it's that phase one design. I think that's that's their excuse. They'll say it's not um, the end. What about that latest model, which was a lightweight. Hello, Hello there. How, how are you going, Ben? Same, same for measuring on the side. Yeah, it's, it's not, mm. not fair, is it? Mm. Not fair. So it's one mistake. And I tell you what, on any water level in the moving water. You take your eye off the ball. Oh, it's definitely. So one, it's only one mistake, and we get away with it nine times. And, and, and at points. Everyone, everyone has horror stories of close calls. Yes. Sometimes at, your luck just isn't there. Although water level does make a difference. Um, point, point five at, at, on the Avon, and you, you'll turn over and, and be in knee deep water, and you'll go, okay, let's learn from that. But you think, you know, you ask, uh, my dad's uh, dad was saying, oh, point four, you can't, you can't hurt yourself in point four, you, you can't, you know, um, stay underwater in point four. But then I say, 
what person in a, in a non-plastic boat is going to paddle at 0.4? That's, yeah. that's, that's classed as not canoeable. Yeah. So of course you can't get trapped because it's only you know, ankle deep. Yeah, even at 0.3. Point point some places. And, and exactly. Not point at the bottom of this waterfall tea, is deep. Through the tea trees. Yeah. Well, you can get wrapped around. Well, we were just thinking, the flood, flood, flood's great, you know, much faster, all the rest. Now, uh, in, the, in the rapids, in the rocky sections, sure, you go where the water is, there's no trees. In the tea trees, though, you've now got that power in amongst the sieve obstructions. Sieve, sieve obstructions in the middle of flow are the problem. And in a flood condition, uh, rapids are fine because there's no, there's no, no sieves there. And, and there's more space. And obviously stoppers and, and, and black holes and whirlpools you have to worry about. But it's the trees that come as You know, you concentrate when you're going down a rapid. Yes, yes. And, soon, your, and your adrenaline is high. One tree where well, she was. Do, do you know the story? Did she capsize and then hit the tree? Did she hit the tree? I, I, I didn't hear. I assume she, she yeah, I don't know why she, I don't know why she would capsize. She must have hit something to capsize. She, she well, had skills. Yeah. Well, this is the other thing that you can't say, oh, well, the person, you know, you, you could do it's this, no one this, and this. When it, when yeah. she actually, she has a, I, yeah, how, how long before Daryl was she there? She had a, a PFD on. Well, she was ahead of her, and to, to she work out okay. she's not there to then yeah. get back to where she yeah. was. Oh, so Daryl was ahead of her, okay, Apparently, okay, yeah. so she was behind, okay, okay. Look, I, I was, I was about three metres away from the mate when he mm -hmm. came out of his boat, oh. went under a log, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I was the other side of the log, I couldn't do anything for him. Yeah. He went straight under, yeah. and trees were stopping me from getting the other side, oh. and it water. seemed to be forever. Huh. And he came up the other side eventually mm -hmm. without his PFD on. He'd managed to, it had got caught. He'd yeah, managed yeah, to take yeah. his PFD off. It is extremely easy to get and, off those PFDs and, and he slide took over it your head. Off his helmet, off his, over his helmet. Over his helmet, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he, when we tried getting it over his helmet later, yeah. that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. look at, look at Patrick water, last year. You wrapped yeah. yourself around at emails yeah. at, at the washing machine. He was wrapped around, his legs were bending 45 degrees on the side yeah. on. Yeah. 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 In the hopper. I couldn't shift it. Yeah. No. it, it just... Oh, the water pressure is huge. We had that boat in, in our dog's breakfast in Bells there, underwater. Yeah. And three people are trying to lift. Yeah. No. And no. if it had gone no. like that, he would have drowned. Mm -hmm. In the time that it and took it, me to run uh, down. That, that way he would come out straight away. That way he would be no, underwater. No, he couldn't, he couldn't come out. Well, well, that's because it. his legs were bent. Uh, exactly, exactly, yeah. So there's these like slight little physics things. It just one mistake. Changes that direction, changes the amount of water. Luck. Yep. And, and luck has a big, big... Luck, luck is uh, how you end up in this situation, yeah. exactly. You just get exactly. unlucky and you're going. Yeah. That's right. Because I guess we've all had those shoes. I mean, I got sucked under one of the fallen logs. Oh, it's just frightening, isn't it? And it was, and there was nothing I could do. And I'm a strong girl. Mm -hmm. I didn't think the water was that strong, no. but I was in front of it trying to work out whether I could get stop. over it, and it just mm. sucked me in. Mm. And as it was going over, I'm sure I've been told a hundred times not to get sucked under We're the not log. strong things. Like, if you get pinned up against a, a tree, yeah. There's not so much I'm always saying, keep away from the bloody trees. Uh, yeah. uh, and uh. I remember, keep you, when you're floating down the rapid, keep so you can see your toes. Uh, well, that's the but hardest thing to do. They, they go down dangling their, well, their feet like this. Well, I tell you, yeah, the first thing that happens when I'm going down a rapid is my, my, my feet get hit on something and they trail the behind me. Well, that happens. And, at, at and I'm you, now doing this. At least, <laughs> at least you keep your feet up. No, and you can't, I know, no, that's right. I've, I've followed 515s down rapids like this. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you, you, you have to just make that thing down until the water no, stops. Don't put your feet down, that's the main one because you will get trapped and in the You see them running trying to jump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but again, how many times have you actually uh, had that happen to you on the river and had to remember oh, what to do? I don't have to remember anymore. I've bent no, no, my left leg oh, right out. That's angles. true. That's true. On 2004, your father. I mean, I've swam five times, maybe maybe ten times in ten years. Yeah. So I'm sorry, I do not have a oh. have a knee jerk reaction for it's if I'm in water, this happens. <laughs> yeah. And it's and it's high so infrequently now. I mean, obviously other rivers aside, but the Avon is high so infrequently that we don't have this training on high water yeah. every year now. I can guarantee you that the half of the field are novices always, and that entire half have never seen the river above what it obviously is at that moment. No, no. They've never seen it at a higher point. I, I saw the valley for the first time in the year last year. Oh well, because once you know it, you know it though. I think. I mean, you have got the. But, but did you have the confidence in your head? Because I think that's the thing that I gained and my dad like been having for 20 years and he hasn't really seen the valley for about five, and he'll see it and go, oh yeah. He knows nothing can hurt him, you know. <laughs>
No, no, indeed. Maybe another year, but <laughs> in the V10, I don't. Well, you're not obviously paddling that, but uh, the tippy thing. I don't... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm in this. I've been in this for five years, so and I've paddled. Yeah. Anyway, great to see you guys. Yeah. Um, hey, you're staying for the sausage. Nice getting fellow Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. I better get better get it off. To uh, I got work actually. I work at a, uh, a racing simulator bar in Northbridge. A a simulator job. what? They do. Um, uh, they got Formula One pods, cockpits, oh. with uh, simulator software that use okay. steering wheels. And they should whatnot. have a simulator wave hopper. <laughs> well, we've got all these new ideas, and we're getting new games. And I'm saying, yeah. wow, let's do this and this and this. And one of them is flight simulators, so we might do a paddling simulator if there is such a thing. White water. Down one of these 30 meter high waterfalls. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I'd be happy just with a Salem course, but yes, if there were drops like that. <laughs> to land at the bottom. <laughs> Eskimo rolls maybe? T teaching Eskimo rolls? <laughs> Educational? <Yeah>. Possible? <laughs> we shall see. Yeah. I believe you can only do those drops at, on a waterfall. It's the bubbles that are made help you hit the water sure, and it doesn't break sure. your neck. Um, well it depends how big it is and if the water itself is going down into the hole yeah. then it's always going to be a bubbly thing like that. So yes. if you've got like a, a SID style compression drop I'm assuming if SIDS was, uh, sorry not SIDS, if, uh, 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 yeah. uh, extracts. extracts. If extracts was uh, three, meters of uh, 3 meters of water level and an extra 10 meters of, of vertical height, it would still be possible, it would still be a huge compression drop, you, wouldn't, you would have a, a wave at the bottom doing this, yeah. <laughs> about 4 meters high, um, but you would push through it and it wouldn't be a solid wall. But at the bottom if of the... you didn't push through it... Oh, we, it would back there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an interesting thing because you look at extracts even in a, like a meter or maybe one and a half meters, and you think, yep, it's going to go at the bottom, but it's not uh, steep enough. No, they've, no. They've, they've shallowed it off so much now yeah. that it's just a bump, and it's like a big puzzles forward. You know, it's like, okay, yep, we're coming down a forward type thing, and it's about 10, 10 meters drop by, or maybe five meters drop by twenty meters of, of there travel. There was a lot yeah. of movement when it was three meters. But even then, that's the thing that we came down in the in the um, you, you five one five. Yeah, and we didn't even get a wave over the over the bow because the wave at the bottom was all whoosh, yeah, yeah. going off in a direction. Imagine what it'd be like if you fell in. <laughs> it would take you down there. It would be quick. <laughs> I'll give it that. Be the quickest rapid in the race. Big compression drop. But it wouldn't. It's not a, a spectacular thing. No. Sids approaches to sids going down those three uh, things before the main shoot. The one that shoots you to the right usually. Yes. Man, that was a wave that shot right over me and ended up, I, I didn't have the GoPro that year, but it would have been great footage. It came over the hat and the helmet. This is the top of the Yes, the second, I think it's the one, the, the one they say there's a, a, a painted rock. And I can never see this painted rock, red rock or something yeah. they paint. And they say, that's where SIDS is. Don't go right yes. in the waterfall. Yes. And, and it's that, that's about a stopper and a half. And a stopper and a half, mate. And it's always a big stopper because in low water, it goes right and then left. Yes. It's a huge ticket ticket yes. and then right that's again. It. And then you come it. down. But um, in it's high water, it's just top. high water. It's just a big wave pushing you that way, and it's pushing you into the waterfall, and you need to not go there. So you go straight, and it's not hard to go straight because most of the water is there. In fact, the waterfall. Well, you're panicking anyway to go straight. I think the waterfall gets less and less water. Exactly. Like straight is no easier than waterfall. It's like straight is the known evil. <laughs> um, although in saying that, I think waterfall. Yeah, when that rock's under in the middle, you're okay. You're okay, but it's above but three if meters. It's only half, and you get you get oh, stuck side. down that left-hand side. It's a bloody hole. And, and right-hand side is not not any. No, I've <laughs> never had a look at the right-hand side. No, no, I'd go over the rock myself. Yeah, <laughs> a even if it's out of the water. Even if it's out of the water, that's exactly <laughs> right. Like a washing machine below point four, don't go right. Don't go left. <laughs> go centre. Yes, there's no water centre. Go centre. Hopper <laughs> That's, can go. Hopper oh, well, anything. Go. You watch the skis go over there. Even the top guys, they go left and they brace on a rock and they come round bracing like this with the rock here going coming around. And yeah, if they, if they miss, whack. And I think that's what no, Daryl did it on a tree, didn't he? The one year at and the start of the clinging to the yeah, bloody side. The start it? of the Channel 10 special, they've got him with his big muj up here and he's being interviewed and he says, uh, I saw the tree there, and I, I mean, I, I, I turned to avoid it. I, ne I never thought it would clock me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we've got the proof. <laughs> and that was a waterfall, was it? No, no, that was just oh, that a tree in the tea trees. Tr low level. A tea That's tree a tree. Bastard. Yeah, yeah, I don't know where it was actually. He yeah, didn't it, describe it, where it, it was. It was at the beginning, at the top of the, uh, of the main seat. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. And yes. It was this high above the bloody. At, at one point, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Now Where'd the, that come from? The, the two metres. <laughs> because you're looking up at it normally. That's exactly right. The two metre year, uh, we had the 515, and in training, we'd be paddling in it just below that, yeah. and we'd duck, we'd yeah. duck, we'd duck, we'd get to maybe, ooh, that far from it. Yeah. And then it came up 50 centimetres before the race. And you think, we're not going to make it under there. We have to go hard left, yeah. and then hope we don't, we're, we're going to so drag under I always under there. go hard left anyway. Uh, you do, kind of do, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the water's not really uh, battleable at that pace, at that speed, is it? You go where the water goes when it's, it's three, two and a half, but, 2.2 metres. But I cling to the banks. Jeez, <laughs> oh, tell me about it. But we must have scraped our heads on that thing that year. Yeah. We must have ducked under there. I know it did get snapped off, and the power boats would have snapped See it off. See you, Joe! <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, it's gone now. It's still there, but it's way out of the way. It's, it's, it's oh, snapped good. off and it's pushed up. Well, go and say hello to Joe. Yeah. Great seeing you. Yeah, same. Don't work too hard. No worries, <laughs> indeed. See you later, Joe. Yeah, see you later. You can have a sausage too. Um, I don't know, I've got a ride hey. here, so I've got to find hey, you. Around. Yeah. You can smell food, I think it might, it might be a stayer. <laughs> G'day there, Pat. How you going? Hey. <laughs> Good to see you. The old, uh, bring the old boat out for another paddle. <laughs> yeah, we were just out this morning after banging. Yeah, oh, nice one, nice one. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. You're yeah, doing the descent this year? Yeah, yeah, it's on the cards. Yeah, enter and then pray for rain like we always do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you and Dave can both sit out the one year, but you've got to come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I'm going to overtake my dad this year too. I think he's done 13. This will be my 13th if I do this one. And then I'll be over him. He hasn't done one for many years. So. But, uh, you know, he's not, he's not, he's running tonight, so he just couldn't come down. Sorry? He's, uh, yeah, he asked me this the other day. He's 67 this year. So 66. A little bit older than me, not much. Yeah, I think he's this. Oh no, he's the same age as, as another bloke who um, actually bought a boat off Daryl recently, and um, paddled, paddled, it, paddled it, and couldn't couldn't make friends with it, and had to exchange it, to, you know, to get get his money back because it wasn't what he he tried one of Daryl's, and it was different to the new one. <laughs> so it was like, oh no, because <laughs> uh, he just couldn't figure out. Uh, I think it was a um, it, it was a, a DR, yeah, something like that, yeah, similar. Um, yeah, but it feels different. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, people say things about wave hoppers going in different directions, different mould, different you know batches of wave hoppers, and now I'm paddling a different one. It feels like it goes right. <laughs> I know I'm just you know seeing things, but over time. Oh, and also just over manufacturing weeks yeah, and whatever, yeah. yeah. But I think mine is my old one is got better. Yep. Yeah. Ah, me. indeed. <laughs> yeah, good, good. Put you in if you want. Yeah, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Nice one, nice one.
Yeah, yeah, I thought I'd take it out and then uh, as I got here the pin that holds it up and down has come out and uh, well, and, and the little waterproof casing thingy has come out too and, and it's still on so I'm like, sweet, <laughs> it's cool. It's not getting wet, I'm not going to fall in. Mate, I thought... I like to see the photos with all the I'll, I'll, on it. I'll upload this to YouTube, I was pretty much at the back. I came oh, yeah? in right at the back, saw them all start and then t they turned and came in front. Um, and it's still recording now. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, as they went off, I thought, you know what, this is like Avon size, or oh, this is like bigger than Nanga, bigger than Collie, bigger than all the adventure races. Um, and that's like really good to see, you know. <laughs> um, I think we might all have to turn out for the White Water Series this year. Eh? Oh, you were, you're there anyway, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I've, I've, got, I've got a nice little um, uh, following drone now that uh, takes footage and and next week I'm going up um, to the to the Gascoigne because my dad's looking for gold and things. And um, he's hiking and I'm flying, taking footage and stitching it into air photos, looking for ways to use drones. And um, I'll bring it down to Vels whenever we're there. I my drone last weekend, so I've given it to my cousin. I said, you take it home and you fix it. Yep, yep, yep. I had some, I had some little crashes and man, it's not nice, is it? If you want to see his gold in there, this is there. <laughs> Semi path. <laughs> Scars on the bottom of that guy. We got a hole in our fanfare. We got a hole in the bottom of our fanfare. Oh, really? Our double, yeah. We just looked under. It must have been on a rock in Flatwater or something. <laughs> we haven't even. We've taken it from the bottom of Bells. <laughs> yeah. Nothing indented. <laughs> Thank you. 